headed to uh, my friend Greg's house in the French Quarter uh, on Royal Street. Uh, him and a f some other friends are doing like a little podcast about independent filmmaking and feature filmmaking, that sort of thing. And I'm gonna go record it because I learn better by watching people, even if they're just talking, than just listening to something. So that's what's going on today. Right now I'm over by Walmart in New Orleans because, uh, you know, free parking. And I'm going to take an Uber into the French Quarter because it's just a waste of time trying to find parking over there in the traffic, you know. <sighs> I'm also not looking forward to when I get to Greg's because uh, I got four flights of stairs to go up. Not looking forward to that at all. Got down here on Royal Street from my Uber. Great guy, Orlando. Awesome dude. Just gotta find the the spot. Just waiting, waiting on Greg. Waiting on old Greg. <laughs> Killing me, Greg. Killing me. <laughs> All right. So let's just go. That's my last leg of my journey up. <sighs> These are the guys. They're coming. <laughs> Sometimes his improv kicks in when we're not I'm shooting. So sorry. Sorry. All I can think of is like, yeah, we tried to put it. Uh, up. <laughs> 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 we had to get creative. We needed an inner colon shot for half of that. Yeah. Scene. Luck luckily, luckily, most people who are working with us have worked with us enough. So the whole sexual harassment thing was out the window. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. about that? <laughs> we made him sign waivers. Um, yeah. Because, you know, we used to have Carl around, which you can't see Carl here today, but he's got great boobs. And just sometimes you want to reach out and touch someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can That was sexy. Oh, oh God. <laughs> anyway, back to you, right? And also find uh, Demon Sex Machine on carlporn.com. <laughs> yeah, it's carlporn.com backslash Demon Sex Machine. Forward slash backslash. Forward slash. Forward slash. <laughs> spelled out. The forward slash is spelled out. Yeah, it was it. It's an impact. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so we just got done shooting the podcast inside of Greg's apartment. I'm now up on his balcony here in the French Quarter, which is really cool. If you can see, there's the bridge I come across. And this is up on top. This is the, uh, the French Quarter. One of the alleys between St. Louis Cathedral and uh, Jackson Square. to rest, get some AC. Um, that's another alley behind me. to this Jack's Mall, Jackson Brewery Mall, Jack's Place, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but uh, just got some sushi from a place called Jazz Sushi. I don't know, see how it is. It's not the most elegantly prepared like you would see in most sushi restaurants, but it should do the job. I 
Tastes fine to me. because it wasn't working right. I'm trying to find a Wi-Fi that would work. My Uber is supposed to be on the way. All right, back in my car. Who's tired, four o'clock? Go home, get a little rest. For tonight, Ghost in the Shell. Two hours later. Just left my house uh, on my way to Andrew's. Uh, gonna ride with him to the movie theater. All right, so we're stopped here getting gas with Andrew. He's giving me a ride. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, but Andrew, I got a question. Have you seen a movie in the Dolby Cinema yet? Yes. Damn it, I thought he was a virgin. <laughs> I thought he was a virgin. Uh, What'd you go see? I, uh, I think the first movie I saw in the Dolby Cinema was... What, the, the, it wasn't Wolverine, it was, a, it was one of the big blockbusters that came out before the Logan movie. I what it was. was it Fantastic Beasts? Yeah, that, that's what it was. Did we go together? I don't know. I, don't think so. I know I went and saw that, but I don't That was definitely a really good movie to watch. In okay, okay, time. okay. Well, he's not a version, but... Okay. okay. Yeah, I've been there twice. So. Twi that was twice. This will be the third time. <laughs> now, another question. I mean, you're not Japanese, but what do you think about the, the whitewashing accusations about this movie? Originally, like, I was a little bit, like, upset about it, too. But, um, but since I've never actually seen the anime and, like, haven't read the, you know, the, the manga or anything like that, honestly, I'm just hoping... To be impressed by the overall like, right. visual. It just should be a good yeah, freaking film. Be a good yeah. Film, so. I actually have an interesting perspective. I thought about this. The movie takes place in like a Tokyo, and ja Japan is like one of the most homogenous societies in the world. Homogenous meaning like the same people. Like 95% of the population in Japan is Japanese. Like we're here, like you have like mix, white, yeah. like you have like 60% white, you know, like. Like, 95% is Japanese, Japanese, like, Asian, Japanese. Right. Like, they don't like Filipinos. They don't like Vietnamese. They don't like white people. You know, they hate outsiders. Mm -hmm. So I keep thinking about the story takes place in Japan, Tokyo. So the likelihood of that having, yeah, a yeah. non-Japanese person playing the role seems odd. Odd, yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't fit the, the world. Now, the, the, big, the big argument that a lot yeah. of people have is that it's not a real human. It's a... Robot, so. well, it's a, well, well, the thing is, a human that was converted into a to a cyborg type, you know, like the person died and then they like made her an artificial thing. But there was actually speculation. I don't know if anybody knows this, that they were digitally gonna like make her eyes, eyes a little more like, slanted. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, they were doing visual effects tests. They're like, no, we never did that. Right. Like, yeah. No, whatever. They, yeah, they, 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 that would have been really fucked up. That would have been really, really. Really crazy, yeah. yeah. Alright, we're going to the movie. You were dying. We saved you. And now you save the others. Words like violence Break the silence We just got done with Ghost in a Shell. This guy had to get up and leave and sit somewhere else because the guy sitting next to him smelled like weed and alcohol. <laughs> like he was yeah. completely drunk. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But so how so what did you think of the movie? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, um, visually it was it was great. There was there's a lot of good like action scene moments and yeah. Overall, I didn't feel like it was uh, dragging on or anything like that. So it, yeah, it kept a pretty decent it kept pace. The pace yeah. And you know, like it it had to tell a lot of story parts, but it didn't like you know, stop the movie right. to tell these story parts. It kind of had a... Like, for someone that hasn't ever seen it, like, I, I got pretty much most of the story, like, even without them having to, like, explain too much, you know. Yeah, it also kind of helped to have that little opening title part where it just, you know, the two pieces of text. <laughs> that kind of helps a little, too. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, we're going to open our movie with, like, two paragraphs for people to read. Right, exactly. <laughs> Explain the, the world. Real subtly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I liked it, too. It was very, uh, very cool action sequences. And uh, I, I kind of would like to have seen a little less of VFX, though, for some scenes. So, um, that's it for tonight. That's it for this vlog. Peace. Peace.